Here, when they say that higher education is the goal, it is a goal here. And here at HBU, you have professors who will care for you and be there for you and help to really want to see you succeed, which you cannot find at another university. Christina Lazari is a founding member of the HBU American Marketing Association and HBU Peer Mentor, a member of Alpha Chi Omega, and is involved in Baptist Student Ministry, Husky Hype, and the Apologetics Club, and we welcome you today. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're involved in a lot. Yeah, <laughs> we like to stay busy. <laughs> HBU American Marketing Association. Tell me about it. So this group actually just began in January. So it's a new business group that we just developed with our uh, professor, Dr. Clark. So basically the initiative was to get business students acquainted with networking and starting to get experience with uh, business tools by um, creating this group where we can come together as students to really help develop those skills. So it's brand new, so we're just getting our feet on the ground. So we're hoping to uh, expand our membership right now. That's great. Tell me about that professor. So uh, Dr. Clark is actually a pretty new professor. I believe he's been here uh, for about a year now. And um, he's very involved with students' lives and he wants to make sure that once we graduate that we have a job lined up for after graduation. And he wants to make sure that we're set up and equipped with the right tools so then that way when we go into the business world, we're ready. And HBU Peer Mentor, what is that? So that's basically a program where the upperclassmen are able to do mentorship and help to guide um, incoming freshmen to help with the transition from high school to college because that's such a big step in their life that sometimes you need someone your age to give you some tips and the do's and don'ts and ways to help to make that transition easier. Christina, what year are you in? Junior. Junior. What kind of transitional challenges does a freshman face when they come so a uh, big one I remember when I was a freshman was just having so much freedom and so much time on your hands and trying to figure out how to time manage it all. And it's a big step because whenever you come to college, you get to choose what you do with your time and how to manage it and how you best want to um, schedule time for both um, academics as well as organizations and also your friends and building those relationships. And so a huge thing is that in high school, you always have your parents there to help guide you, hold your hand. And when you get to college, you don't have that. So you get to make those decisions as an, an upcoming adult. And then Alpha Chi Omega, mm -hmm. why? So um, I chose Alpha Chi Omega because originally I was just going to go through rush week and just see what it was like. And I never pictured myself in Greek life um, before coming to HBU. And I met the girls and I just fell in love with it. And all the girls I had so many big connections with and I found some friends in there that I still am close to to today. And the best thing that I love about it though is our philanthropy, which is the point that we have the sorority is to raise money for domestic violence awareness. And um, that's a huge key of who we are and that's the heart of Alpha Chi, um, being able to give back and serve others because that's what we're meant to do here and called by, by God to do. So. Beautiful. And uh, Baptist Student Ministry, tell me about that. So um, BSM is our uh, ministry here at HBU where we get to help guide students with their walk with Christ. And the great thing about it is that we have a freshman group called Journey for um, upperclassmen to guide freshmen. And then we have Voyage, which is an upperclassmen Bible study um, with upperclassmen to help them with their, um, with their walk as well. And it's a neat group because that way you get to key in and really target towards um, your, peer men, your peers where you get to um, have time to reflect and have fellowship together and to guide that because when it comes to your walk, sometimes you need a community to help keep you accountable, help to um, encourage you and people to come to where you can gather together and help to grow towards God. And it's great too because we have ways where you have the opportunities to serve and not only the HBU community, but the community outside of HBU. Um, for example, we have Life Tree Ministries where we go to um, apartment complex and we get to help teach uh, refugee kids how to um, do their homework and we get to do worship with them. 
and also get to like spread the gospel outside of HBU Gates as well as um, the commuter free lunch. We do that so in that way we get to get engaged with other students who necessarily aren't in BSM and we get to reach out to them as well outside of the group. And so there's many opportunities where we get to serve and, and do that through BSM. BSM is, it's dynamic to get involved in ministry, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Most people, unfortunately, sit in a pew, listen and audit, mm -hmm. but they don't really get engaged in ministry. Mm -hmm. Yes, that happens a lot too at HBU. I've noticed where students will sit in the back seat and they think, okay, well, since I'm going here, my relationship with God is just going to flourish. But, you know, it takes a lot more than just that. You have to really act on your beliefs. And this helps to really foster those um, spiritual gifts because it's easy to get lost in the crowd and think, oh, I'm doing good. I'm at a Christian university. I go to Convo, our chapel time. And, um, and I'm involved in these things, but this helps to really keep you on track and keep you accountable. So that way you're not just talking the Christian talk, but also walking it out. Absolutely. And Husky Hype, what's that all about? So um, when I was a freshman, uh, there was a group of us who came in and I remember in high school, we had a group where we could really express our spirit for um, our school. And so we came to HBU and there wasn't quite a group just like that. So we wanted to develop a group where we could really bring up hype, hence the Husky hype, <laughs> <laughs> for the school spirit and try to get people really involved and really on fire for the school. Um, because at a small university, it's hard to get students involved, especially when the majority of students are commuters. So this was a way to get people excited for games and get them riled up and excited to support their teams and um, encourage other students with their athletics. So. Um, this was a group that we decided to develop together to try to get that spirit going again. That's beautiful, beautiful. And what about the Apologetics Club? So um, I was in the Apologetics uh, Club for about one semester, and the basically the purpose of that club was to um, help build a defense for your faith because a lot of times um, there will be people who outside of HBU campuses or outside of the Christian community will try to um, question or even attack the faith. And so you need to make sure that in your faith that you have those answers ready because here on earth I feel that it's very important that you know how to defend God because you're not always going to have the safe Sunday school questions asked to you. You need to be ready because there are outside forces that are trying to come at the uh, Christianity faith. So um, this helps you to build up evidence and also to um, understand why you believe what you believe. So then when someone comes to question you, you're ready to go and ready for those answers. So Christina, why did you come to HVU? So it's funny because um, HB wasn't even in my radar when I was in high school. And I, where did you go to high school? I went to Willis High School. Willis High mm -hmm. School, okay. Yes, so um, originally my plan was to go to a big university and um, and HBU wasn't even a thought. And one day I got an email from HBU. And so I figured, I was like, oh, I'll just apply for it, see what happens, but that's not really my plan. Well, sometimes God um, turns up and he says, well, just because it's not your plan doesn't mean that it's the plan that I want for you. Um, and so HBU kind of fell in my lap, and I originally didn't plan on, on coming to school here. But then June came around, and it was time to make a decision, either a big university or HBU. And I came from a Christian family, and they sat me down and said, well, I know this wasn't your plan. I know this is a very small campus. It's not what you were planning on doing, but I feel like God really put this in your path for a reason and that there's a reason why he had you go to HBU instead of another university. And this is mom and dad talking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so they sat me down and talked to me about this and I prayed about it and thought about it a lot and believe that this was the place where God meant for me to be. And I'm so thankful I ended up going here instead of a big university because the community you get here and the professors that care for you is something you just can't find anywhere else. If you were to tell a, a parent, <clears throat> a prospecting parent, or a student that was listening today why to come to HBU, what would you say? 
I would say that the reason why they should consider HBU instead of a big name, well-known university in Texas is because here, when they say that higher education is the goal, it is a goal here. And here at HBU, you have professors who will care for you and be there for you and help to really want to see you succeed, which you cannot find at another university. And that they should go here not only for um, spiritual growth, but also for academic growth. Because here, I know that I've experienced that uh, tremendously, and I would not want another student to miss out on that opportunity. The academic growth that you reference is very formidable here, isn't it? I mean, this isn't one of those typical, forgive me, mail order factory, factory Christian universities where you get a little certificate that you can frame, but you haven't cognitively changed much. Mm -hmm. I mean, this place changes your thinking, doesn't it? It does. It does. I know a huge um, value that's, hosp that's really um, harped on here at HBU is integrity. And I feel like you would not necessarily learn that at another campus, whereas here, that's a huge thing. That's a huge value. One of our pillars that is important here at HBU to find. And you see that being held accountable both in the classroom and also outside. And you see that the administration here really helped to um, develop those values. And within academics, they help, you have very high standards that you have to reach and, you know, it says, for example, too, in the Bible, that you should do works as though you're doing it for God. So you would want to achieve the best and try to reach the best as a student here and also as a Christian. Now, your mom and dad must be very special people. Mm -hmm. They are. <laughs> I mean, here you were headed to a, quote, big Texas university, and they're talking to you about going to HBU. Mm -hmm. Did they have any orientation to HBU before that? Um, actually, no. My uh, dad went to University of Texas, and my mom went to University of Houston. So two very big name schools here in Texas. Mm -hmm. And um, no one in our family actually had a relationship with HBU, just family friends who worked here. Um, and it just kind of fell into our lap. So just, just kind of an amazing story. And it, did you live in Houston? Is Willis High School in the greater Houston area? So Willis High School is closer to Woodlands. Okay, um, up, up north. North, yes. And so I was born in Houston, raised in Katy, and then for high school we moved to Conroe, where I went to Willis High School in a small town by Conroe. <laughs> got it, totally got it. Yeah, all um, over Texas. <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> well, Houston's big enough to almost be from Conroe to, to yeah, all points and beyond. Mm -hmm. um, you, your major is what? Business management. Business, so what is your career? What, what are you thinking about? So currently right now, I'm being uh, steered towards human resources management or possibly marketing. Um, even though I'm business management, I've been really interested in the marketing aspects of business and um, looking at how to really cater to consumers' needs based on marketing research. So marketing, well, you know, we have innovation strategic marketing. Why don't you come intern in our department? <laughs> yes, I, that's <laughs> definitely something I've thought about. <laughs> we, we've got a few things going on. Um, as you think about your future, too, how does your faith factor in to a future mate? So... Um, with your career, I feel like God should be honored in everything that you do. And it has a lot to do with the career decisions. And a huge thing that I've prayed about is where God is calling me to. And I feel like in business, it, business gets such a bad reputation for being um, distraught or um, wicked or for there to be a lot of deception within business. And um, I feel like the morals and as well as the integrity in the business world has started to sway. And I really believe that God is calling me to that world to be a light to people who um, aren't necessarily in the faith because the best way to shine your light is in the darkness. Exactly. So. Well, um, Christina, you give us a tremendous amount of hope and encouragement. 
and uh, as we think about the future, because we live in a world today, unfortunately, where faith, there's not just uh, irrelevancy, but in some quarters there's a hostility toward Christianity. Mm -hmm. And it's unfounded. Mm -hmm. Because, <clears throat> as my son wrote in his book, if you took Christianity out of this world, you would eliminate hospitals and charity. I mean, people have no idea what the world would be like mm -hmm. had there not been the advent of Jesus Christ in the world mm -hmm. and this, this phenomenon called Christianity. Mm -hmm. It's made a difference in your life as well, correct? Correct, yes, sir. I wanna encourage everyone to reflect on Christina's story and tell a student, a prospecting student, maybe thinking about going to a major university, a big university, of exactly what Christina discovered at HBU. There is a difference. There's no doubt about it, isn't there? No, we absolutely. Have, we have one faculty member, I'll never forget this. She came here from a big state university and she wanted to pray with her class, student. And they told her, if you do that again, that they would actually bring charges against her for mm -hmm. praying with a student. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to imagine, isn't it? It's, it's incredible to see how different it is from other campuses. And I love that aspect that professors do have the freedom to pray with us, do have the freedom to incorporate Christianity with what we're learning and how it's related. And I know I grew up in public schools my whole life. So I never had that opportunity right. to go to a chapel service at school or be able to pray. And it was frowned upon to have your Bible at school. And it's been so amazing to have that freedom here at HBU to express your faith and get to really talk about it with other people. And I know I talk to um, other students who are enrolled at large universities and I tell them how much the professors care for us and how they really invest in us. And they wish they had that opportunity that they don't get on a daily basis. Very well said, and it's the reason you need to check out HBU. Learn more, enroll, talk to one of our enrollment guidance counselors, 281-649-3211. We'll keep that number on the screen. And remember, you can check it all out online at hbu.edu slash admissions. This is a, a, a university destined for some great days ahead, and it could be in your future. So check it out today. Christina, Thank you so much. It's just a delight to look in your eyes and think of where you're going. And uh, we need great Christian young women in the workforce. And mar marketing is a very cool field. Mm -hmm. So many things going on in marketing. I love every aspect of it. And uh, you're going to have a great career in it. Thank you so much for having me.